Hello there, my name is Stacy Jensen and I'm so excited to show you a little bit of a new set we have. We have taken so much time to create this set because we wanted to come out with really a luxe digital editing set, something for everyone. Whether you are high-end fashion, you do magazines, or you simply do bridal, or even newborns, this set is for you. It will clean up skin without doing a skin smoothing blur type effect and losing texture. This one really allows you to keep a natural feel. But today I wanted to show you one of the most incredible pieces of the set. So it's very large. It has a lot of um, helpful tools in it, such as the exposure fix fixes at the very beginning. So this is where you're gonna get a great starting base. I always suggest that you do that. We're gonna click on play on the starting base. And it's going to ask us um, to select which of the layers we need the most. So this is pretty strong for us. We're, we have a few layers already turned on. We're going to turn a few of them off. I'm going to turn off the clarity. I think I'm going to undarken her shadows just by turning that off. And then grab the entire group and turn that down. So just so that we get a nice perfect exposure. All you're doing is looking for a base that is perfect. The highlights aren't blown out, the darks aren't too dark, it's just perfect. I'm gonna close up that layer and hide it, and then we're gonna show it just to see if we're happy with that light enhancement. So I'm okay with that. The next thing you want to do is choose which type of skin retouching you have with two of them. We have a skin retouching without blemishes, so this is something where you don't have to do a lot of work to the photo. You just want that perfect buttery skin. And again, this isn't just a blur tool. Or you have the next grouping, which is a Luxe Skin Retouching with Blemish Control. That is really where we want to start. That way we can fix all of these stray hairs. This image is brought to us by Ellie Willette. She's so incredible. Definitely go check out her work. We often uh, link to her on our Facebook page. So I am going to choose that I want the blemish correction because the blemish correction also does straight hairs. So we're going to do the first thing which is flatten and create a snapshot. Uh, creating snapshots is really helpful tool for you because in your histories palette we will create a snapshot of the event and it will keep this starting base layers in our layers palette if we ever have to refer back to it. So we're going to flatten and I'm going to show you. Now we have the new snapshot. Okay, and we're going to click on blemish control. Hit play. It's going to tell you a very important message. It's the most important message of the whole set because it does require that you check sample all layers and hopefully you will have proximity match. If you don't have, um, or if you don't have proximity match, you can do content aware. So I have content aware. I have the sample layers up at the top. We're going to click continue and make sure that those are selected. Again, if you don't have content to wear, you can select proximity match, and that is for the older versions. So we have the check mark on the sample layer. Now that you have done that, you're ready to begin. So we're going to zoom in and show you some incredible magic. So what you do is you get a very small paintbrush. The paintbrush should be a little larger than the piece of hair, but not much larger. And you're going to take it and draw right on the piece of hair. And let go and release. So I'm holding down my brush, my mouse, and releasing once I'm done. And then I'm going to pick up again and draw over the hair here. Okay, and zoom in. You're going to have to zoom in pretty tight because you have a small paintbrush and you want to make sure that you get everything in there. Now you can go over the hair crosses the eye. So we've gotten rid of it there. I'm actually going to go over it one more time with a smaller brush. Okay. And now it picks back up over here and then goes through her eyebrow. it and again any places that you may have gotten out of the line and you need to go back over you'll just draw right over those 
but as you can see, it's super easy to correct hairs. And you could continue doing that. And it's pretty fast once you get used to drawing it. You just wipe right over it, make your brush bigger, smaller. We're gonna go over a blemish and it's just one click. Literally just click it and you're all done. You can even get a small brush and fix eyebrows very, very quickly just by drawing on them. Any stray hairs you see, such as over on the edge here. So it's pretty amazing. Again, we have a stray hair over here. Okay, so just to show you quickly how to do that, again, make sure that you had your sample, all layers, and then zoom out. And what a gorgeous, amazing girl this is. We're just going to get a little bit bigger of a brush and quickly click over. You do want to keep these pores. These pores are going to be necessary in your editing. You don't want to just get rid of them. Um, very important. She needs this texture, so don't over perfect it yet. And let's go ahead and um, flatten and create a snapshot. When you use this action again, it's going to ask you what the name of it is. So after skin and hair repair. And this way, in your histories palette, you have all your different snapshots, okay? I'm gonna go and um, you could click on the step two, the perfect smooth and texture, but I'm actually going to choose the option to high fashion. They're all slightly different and they're there so that you can choose which one works best for your editing style, but I really love this um, option too. So we're just gonna let it run. We're gonna get a larger brush and we're going to paint over. I'm gonna actually make sure that my opacity is at 100% and we're gonna paint over. And you know, it may seem like that's too strong for you at first, but I'm painting it 100% um, and I will turn down the opacity. One of the tricks I like to show you is to use your vertical key on your keyboard. Mine is just to the right of my brackets key. That'll turn it red and white. The white is where you've painted it, the red is where you have not. And the reason why I wanna show you this is when you're painting on any skin uh, action, any smoothing or perfecting, it's important that you do not go next to any of the details like the jaw bones, the edging of the face, near the eyebrows. These are contours and if you if you take that definition away, you will um, make things look more unnatural. So again, you'll see that I'm not actually going all the way up to the cheek bones or the um, outer exterior of the face at all. And I'm not going into the hair. And I'm at 100% on that. Now I'm gonna change over to a 50% brush and I'm gonna brush that gently down the bridge of the nose only. You don't wanna soften any of the openings of the nose. And I'm also going to use that near the mouth. But again, not going anywhere near the lips. So I can come a little bit closer to the lips with this 50, but not too much. And then I'm gonna get a smaller brush and gently go down the um, bridge of, or under the nose. Okay, so once I get back to um, the area where I can see what I've done, I click that same vertical key on my keyboard. Now I can click on the action grouping and turn that down to a more normal state. So about 60% is fine with me here. So I'm gonna turn that off and turn that on. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to with the hair and with all of the skin. So hopefully this helped you. Thank you so much for watching.